Hi, and welcome to Longevity's Learning Lab. Today we're going to look at the Pro MTS 200i. This is a three in one welder, MIG TIG stick. I have a little project coming up where I'm going to use every process uh, that the machine is capable of. But today I'm just going to take it out of the box, uh, see what it comes with, set up the machine in it, its different functions, and uh, we'll just put it together like that. All right, let's see what comes inside. Here's our gas bottle, flow meter. Here's our MIG, or, yeah, here's our MIG gun. Okay, air hose for the bottles. Here's our uh, stick lead stinger. Ground clamp. Here's a 110 to 220 converter and the machine. All right, let's take a closer look at this. Here's the back of the machine. I've spun it around. Here's our on-off switch in the back. Uh, here's our power lead coming out and it's got its adapter for 220 and 110. So to go into your garage wall socket, you just plug that together and now we're into a uh, 110 power source. So. That means we can run this this uh, machine just about anywhere, anywhere where there's 110 power. So our gas hose here, we just thread into the back. That'll screw in, and then this end of the hose is going to screw into the regulator, and the regulator into the bottle. So this is a pretty standard regulator. It's in liters per minute and uh, standard cubic foot hours. Uh, and if you wanted to, to uh, divide that into minutes, then you'd just divide by 16. You'd have uh, standard cubic feet per minute. All right, let's set this machine up for a MIG operation. This is an N15 torch. A uh, little plastic cover on it. So we're going to locate this lug in here. And then there's a collar that we screw down. And the torch is connected. Now we just got to connect our ground clamp. And we want to weld in uh, direct current electrode positive. So this is our EP side. So that means our ground clamp is going to go negative. So here's our positive dins, here's our negative dins. So we're going to go ground clamp negative. And that's going to make the uh, MIG torch positive. So now we're DCEP on the torch and the ground is negative. Three, two, one. All right, this is back to the positive position again. I've switched this plate so it's brought it down. So now the, the torch, the MIG torch uh, gun is positive and I can go to my, uh, uh, switch my ground lead again. So I'm running in electrode positive now. And I just wanted to show you how to, how to change the spool here. We take a small spool. It's got the spring and this uh, keeper here. We take the larger adapter here, slide that on, this slides in, and then our spring and this bolt thread in. Put tension on the wheel here, and then this is going to be what holds your 11 pound spool on. So now I'm 
ready to convert to uh, the larger MIG roll here, the 11 pound roll. I just ran a MIG bead because I had the machine set up in MIG with uh, direct current electrode positive and I wanted to run flux core so what I need to do is take my negative uh, ground and put it onto the positive DINs and then switch this switch this plate right here and just reverse it and that puts the electrode positive. So if I just take this out and screw it in up here, this is a 10 millimeter by the way, so if I just screw that in and then lock it down here. Now I've just converted the uh, stinger or the, the MIG torch to uh, DCEN. So now this is the DCEN position for the uh, MIG torch, whereas it was positive before. When it's down here, it's positive. So I just flip this and now I'm running flux core. I've got the machine set up for MIG right now, but we're going to go through the control panel in all processes. We're in the MIG process right now, so uh, here we are with our wire speed control, and this is in meters per minute, so uh, 39 inches uh, to one meter, so you can translate using that number. <clears throat> this is our voltage control for the MIG um, feed uh, volts 10 amps to or 10 volts to uh, to 27 volts and this is our inductance control for the MIG process uh, you can turn this up and you penetrate whatever you're welding a little deeper at the higher level of the inductance it seems to spatter a little bit less on the higher uh, inductance end also then 2T and 4T 2T you pull and hold the trigger and the wire will feed, let go, and your wire will stop. 4T, you just click the, the gun and the wire continuously feeds uh, and then click it again and it'll stop. We're still in MIG here and now we're going to switch to the TIG process. Now these knobs control different functions because we switch processes. So this becomes our amps, 10 to 200 amps. Here's our downslope, and this is in seconds uh, for our TIG torch, how you slope down the end of the weld. Uh, the uh, inductance is not a function of the TIG, and then you have your 2T or 4T control of the torch. Three, two, one. I'm still set up for stick welding. My stick welder is electrode positive, so I'm going to take that out. Set it aside, I'll leave the ground clamp in for a minute. Now here's a lift TIG torch. Lift TIG. So if I take my TIG lead and I just put it in where my stick lead was, this is my argon bottle connect. I'm going to have to connect this to the argon bottle and this is uh, my TIG connection now. Now I am, I'm direct current electrode positive and that is okay for welding some alloys uh, but most TIG welding is done in DC electrode negative. So what we want to do is take our ground clamp again and switch the two. So this comes out, this is our ground, so it's going into positive and our torch, our TIG torch, going into negative, and this will again connect to our argon bottle. So now we're DC electrode negative, and this is the way most uh, applications go for TIG welding. So DCEN for the TIG torch. Now this is lift TIG, so that means you set your amperage, and this is on, scratch, and you're going. Uh, there's no adjustment that you can make with the TIG torch. Lastly, we're going to move to stick, stick process, and again, these uh, controls do different functions now. Uh, again, we're reading in amps, which is similar to TIGs, uh, uh, 10 to 
to 200 amps. <clears throat> and this has to do with our arc force now, zero to 100, and this is in a, a percentage of, of arc force. Inductance is again not a function of, of the stick weld process and the 2T and 4T are off. I took the bar and it's down in its lower position, which means the machine is in electrode positive mode now. That's the electrode positive mode. So that means the MIG torch right now is electrode positive, but I'm gonna take this off. Set that aside. Now my ground clamp is in the positive side because I was running flex core. Now I'm going to go to my ground clamp to negative. And I'm going to take my, my uh, stick weld stinger and I'm going to go to positive. So now we're electrode positive for stick welding. This is my ground clamp, this is my stick weld stinger, and now we're set up for DCEP uh, stick welding, uh, electrode positive. Now, uh, some of the electrodes you can run in you know, positive, negative. Uh, so uh, what we have set up here now is electrode positive. We do have one more option available and that is this 8M spool gun. Uh, so I'm going to disconnect the TIG torch, put it away. Now the machine is still set up in its EP polarity mode. So we're going to take the, our spool gun, this is our spool gun lead here just like we did the MIG gun lead, except this is a spool gun. So that just screws down. And we're gonna go to, uh, we wanna be in, in positive polarity. So this is positive polarity and this is also positive. So our ground clamp here needs to go to negative. So now we're positive on the spool gun positive on the spool gun and we're negative on our work. Now the spool gun just opens up, it'll accept a small uh, spool steel, mild steel uh, or uh, aluminum and we can weld with our spool gun. Three welders in one. It's a MIG TIG and stick. Uh, right out of the box, you can you can run MIG. You'll need a gas bottle to run MIG. You can run flex core though, uh, and you can stick weld right out of the box. Uh, you'll need the optional TIG torch if you want to teach yourself how to TIG weld. Uh, you'll need the spool gun if you want to weld uh, MIG aluminum. But it has all these capabilities and all these functionalities that that it comes with. So you'd be able to to uh, work on. Uh, nearly anything that you can you can think of that needs to be welded together. It's got a, uh, a feature called power factor correction, which means that if you're running it off of a diesel or a, an unreliable power source, that it'll auto correct internally and keep your amperage or your voltage, whatever you're running, uh, consistent through throughout your welding. It's got a uh, of function called auto voltage, which makes the machine run super efficiently, at the end of the day, your power consumption will be lower because of the auto voltage function of the machine. So, you have a great little machine, it's light, it's portable, uh, three welders in, in one box. Uh, nice little machine to have around, uh, capable of, of a lot of different processes. Thanks for watching today at Longevity's Learning Lab. I hope you learned something.